How's it going dudes? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So I'm obviously not where I usually record, I'm actually back in Sydney for Christmas with my family, but I promised you an advanced chivalry medieval warfare video for ripping and 3D printing the files, like this dude here, and that's what you're going to get. So it's going to be a four part series, I'm going to get the first part done before Christmas because it's really time important, and um, that's going to be on the Christmas hat, and that's because it's not going to be in the game after Christmas. So I'll show you how to rip this and prepare it for 3D printing, then we'll be doing the posing and uh, printing of the character, and then finally the uh, 3D printing of the sword and finishing the, of course, the uh, the model with sanding, gluing and all that such things because not many of us have printers that big. So let's get into it. Right, so let's do this. So you'll need your cooked PC folder extracted from Chivalry and brought over to a separate folder. And you'll need U-Model extracted into that folder as well. You also need Milkshape 3D and Mesh Mixer downloaded and installed. So fire up your model, and you want just static mesh ticked, so you can ignore all the others, and okay. And to get the Christmas hat, you want to look, in, look in PC, AOC, uh, environments, SDK assets, and Shiv Santa. So this is pretty time crucial, I'm sure they're going to remove it in the next update after Christmas. Um, but you know, any future updates with weird things, I'm sure they'll be in this folder. And we've got like a pumpkin head from, from the Halloween special. Anyway, so open that. Page up, page up. Nope, page up. There we go. So that's the hat we want. And Control X to download that and extract it. So we've got our Christmas hat saved. Fire up Milkshape. File, import, PSK. And we've got our Shivmas hat open. Looking all fine and dandy. And the only thing we're going to use Milkshape for at this stage with the hat is just to file export as an OBJ file. And this lets us play with it in Mesh Mixer. So, Shivmas hat, save, and we're done with Milkshape. All right, so we've got our little hat saved as an OBJ. Next, you want to use Mesh Mixer to import it. And there we go, so this is our file in Mesh Mixer. But we've got a couple of problems with it before we can actually print with it. Firstly, we don't want it to have this sort of solid chunk to it. It just, you won't be able to use it as a hat. So to fix that, go to edit and separate shells. And you'll notice for this file particularly, the top and bottom are actually separate parts, separate shells. So we can just press delete to remove them. There's actually another one which doesn't seem to even exist. It's like a tiny dot somewhere. So just delete that. And we're left with this shell here, which looks like a perfectly good hat, but it's actually known as a non-manifold or non-watertight mesh. And that means that this surface is completely zero thickness, and so the printer has no idea what to actually print. And if it even tries to do it, it'll probably fail or look not, not what you wanted. But this, this is a hat, we want to actually give it a tiny bit of thickness, but still be hollow. And we can do that in Mesh Mixer using Extrude. So what you can do is select, and you can click and select the triangle like this, but it's easier to just click a bounding box around, like so. Then you want to go to Edit, Extrude. So there's a few options for extruding. Obviously, this is crap, and we don't want it to extrude in one direction. We actually want to extrude it off the normal. So if you go to Normal here, that's more what we want. But it's going the wrong way and adding it, you know, make it look stupidly thick. So we want to offset it negatively. And I find the scaling of the chivalry files, 0.5 works well, so, uh, so that's minus 0.5 millimeters. And that gives it a nice amount of thickness, but it still looks like a hat. So let's go with that, accept, and looks, you know, looks pretty good to me. But the one thing you'll notice is it's quite a faceted mesh, and with, um, with Mesh Mixer we can actually smooth this over and give it a bit better definition before printing because game files tend to be quite faceted and low polygon count to keep the game running quick. So let's go to edit and remesh and this is only a little Surface Pro so I'm going to be really careful with how I remesh it because it probably won't handle it. Uh, let's go to adaptive and just smooth it a little bit, you know, maybe that much. Um, obviously if you're running a really powerful computer you can add thousands of triangles. Let's just see how this goes, except, and that looks pretty good. We, we, we're going to vapor smooth it and sand it as well. So, cool. 
that's good to go. Um, so you can now export it as an STL file. STL binary shivmas hat and shave it, save it in this folder. And that's good to print. So that's the hat done. So we've got a nice hollow shape that we can put on our character. It sits very nicely. Your little Christmas hat. Um, and yeah, so guys, have a great Christmas. I'm not going to be able to do the next video before Christmas because it's only in like two days' time. But uh, look forward to the next one where I'll be showing how to pose uh, your character using the animations built into Chivalry and printing them out. And then, of course, the, the weapon and finishing up the, the character with sanding and gluing, which I haven't done yet because it's just stuck together with... <laughs> with blue tack. I decapitated my guy. But yeah, have a great Christmas guys, I'll see you around soon. If you haven't subscribed yet, you'll make my Christmas by subscribing, I'm really trying to get this channel going. And please suggest um, future videos for, for the new year, um, always looking for new ideas for you know three printing game themed themed videos. And have a great time, I'll see you around. Thanks guys, bye.